That's fine. The latest returns, 2,650 precincts out of 2,987 in the city of Chicago. Give Thompson 250,887. Lyle, 200,386. Albert, 87,782. Smith, 10,054, which indicate with the remaining precincts we will have won a victory of 60,000 plurality. I am very grateful to all my friends, and I appreciate what has happened to Bill Thompson in this victory, but I appreciate more <coughs> the great principles for which I have fought have been upheld. Drive internationalism out of the Republican Party. Drive prohibition out of the Republican Party. George Washington, the father of our country, laid down the great fundamental principles that we should not have foreign entanglements with any foreign country. Abraham Lincoln, the savior of the Union, subscribed to them also. And Thomas Jefferson, the great man who wrote our Constitution and upon whose principles the Democratic Party is founded. I believe, warrants me in the belief that in the election next April, supported by the truly American Republicans and the truly American Democrats, we will have even a greater victory than we have had today. returns, 2,650 precincts out of 2,987. Thompson, 250,887. Lyle, 200,386. Albert, 87,782, showing we will win by a plurality of 60. Hooray! Six hundred and fifty precincts out of two two thousand nine hundred and eighty seven. Give Thompson two hundred and fifty thousand eight hundred and eighty seven. Lyle two hundred thousand three hundred and eighty six. Albert eighty seven thousand eighty seven thousand seven hundred and eighty two. Smith ten thousand and fifty four, which indicates we win by sixty thousand plurality. <laughs> Cameraman, a word or two. 
I am very happy, naturally, to know that the Republicans of our Republican Party of the city of Chicago have upheld the principles for which their mayor has fought. Drive internationalism out of the Republican Party. Drive prohibition out of the Republican Party. There is one very interesting thing that happened today. In our Republican primary, we cast 100,000 more votes than were cast for our Republican candidates in the general election last fall. A hundred thousand more in the primary than in the general election. And I feel very sure that the Jeffersonian Democrats that adhere to the same principles that George Washington and Abraham Lincoln did, that it has been my privilege to follow, will join with us in April in the greatest American victory ever cast in any American city. I thank you very much. Yeah, I think the crowd sang a little too loud so that you couldn't get the words. You, you.